what's good YouTube it's your boy Sean one kicks and today I'm be doing another review but this time it's gonna be a different review not on hats but on the Jordan one lost a pound uh, this shoe dropped like a week ago but this was the worst release ever uh, with this release I caught L after L after L after L uh, JD sports finish line I had exclusive access, but by the time I got in there, it was sold out. Um, this pair right here is a 7 Y, which I did cop off of JD. They did have uh, the kids available when I got in there, but the men's size was all sold out. Flex took an L on there. Um, when I, it took me forever to get in there just to see if I even won, just to claim my L. Uh, with that drop, they had to pause the raffle reveal because the service was overloaded everybody and their mama was trying to get into the flex account trying to see if they uh, won or not sneakers took a l couldn't even get in to put the raffle in to try to get the shoe then a couple of days later they did a restock uh of course took another l this was the worst release ever but anyway Let's get to the review. Again, this is a 7Y. Um, on the outside of the box, you have the sale sticker, which feel like, you know, you can peel it off, but you really can't. Outside of the box, you have that old rustic look, like the paint is coming off of it. On the inside of the box, you have your mama pop receipt. Instead of the white paper that usually come with all your shoes, you have the sales paper uh, which back in the day they used to post the shoes in there for you to order and stuff like that Here we have the Chicago Jordan 1 uh, Lost and found on the back sole of the shoe you have your cracked black paint right here Also, the white leather is also has that cracked look to it the midsole, you have that off-white yellow, like it's yellowing when you have shoes for a long time. And at the bottom of the shoe, you have the red, almost faded, ashy look. A lot of people say this is the shoe of the year, but my opinion is not the shoe of the year for to make everybody go crazy. Uh, stay tuned for that video for my shoe of the year. But it's still a clean shoe and everything. Uh, just because it's a Chicago colorway, which made the prices jump up and everybody just go crazy because uh, Chicago, that red and black shoe goes with everything and it's just a, you know, a versatile shoe. Oh, but like again, I say, I want it in my collection, but it's not a must have, but still. But yeah, I heard it's supposed to be a restock. I don't know if FLS is going to put on that app. For on ship to me or the raffle or they're gonna do first come first serve in the stores sneakers are supposed to be doing a restock so i'll try my luck again and hopefully this time i get that size 12 to put on to add to my collection but i'm not going to go out and pay that high resale if i don't get it I just don't get it um yeah let's get to this b-roll <laughs> I don't want this anybody Can you treat me like somebody? I don't want this anybody I don't want this anybody So there we have it, the review of the Jordan 1 Lost or Found. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. And com comment down below which shoe you think is the Jordan of the Year. And I'm out.